Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've posted anything up. So I thought I would do a little video as I'm on my way home. Hopefully it's not too noisy. I'm in the K20 Jazz today, so it might be a bit loud, but I thought I'd do a little about me video because it's not something I've really done up until now. Um, I've, well, I'm 41, I'll be 42 next month. I've been a mechanic since I was 16. I've always been into cars. I was into cars probably from about the age of 13. And um, my dad worked as a mechanic, still does, and she still works with me. And I, uh, I said to him when I was about 14, I was going to come and work with him. I think he panicked a little bit, um, but that's what happened. And I've been doing that ever since, so pretty handy with a socket set. And uh, like I say, I've always been into my cars. I've had, uh, what do I have, a Nissan Pulsar GTI R when I was 18. Um, then I had moved on to a, what do I have, a Subaru Impreza, classic shape, still think the best shape you can get. Um, I had a few cars in between, like MR2 turbos, stuff like that. And then after that, I got into the Hondas. Um, and I have to say, one of the most fun cars I've had. Not always the quickest, but from a fun side and the, the fact that you can change so many parts across from, from one to another. Um, but just, yeah, from a, a mechanics point of view or a enthusiast point of view, there's so much you can do to them really. So, um, if you look at my other videos on this car, you'll see it's a 2005 Honda Jazz uh, with a K20. Uh, it's been mapped on uh, K Pro 4. Uh, it's got 200, wi uh, 200 wheel horsepower. So it's a great little fun car. Also got a K24 Frankenstein Jazz um, that we've built. We haven't really used that much yet. We've got to get that mapped soon. And then, um, yeah, that'll be, be on the road. That's pretty much a standard car. It's, it's done in matte paint, which was done before we got it. Um, it's got some wheels on it, uh, yellow speed coilovers, which are brand new. We haven't, haven't driven it since then. Um, so yeah, that's just sitting there waiting to be used. You know, with lockdown and everything, we haven't really been able to get out and about in the cars much. So certainly no shows to go to. And uh, the current project, although it's not one of mine, it's uh, another Jazz that belongs to a friend from France. Um, just actually started working on that today, done a bit of that today. Um, that's having a K20 swap. Um, should be fairly straightforward. There's a few differences, obviously, with it being left-hand drive, um, but hopefully pretty much the same. Uh, you know, you've got root the wires, the loom a slightly different way, so everything's on the other side. Um, but in some senses, it'll actually make it easier, which I'll go into on the videos when I do get going on the car. Um, but yeah, that'll be, I think, I think we've seen someone else doing one in France at the moment, so it'll be the first, maybe second one, if, if that one's finished, that we know of. Um, so not many K-Swap jazzes in France. Um, I'm not sure what the owner's plans are for it other than the engine. So it's it's going to need a bit of um, bodywork. Um, or we might just leave it and make it the ultimate sleeper. Because it's, yeah, you could keep it fairly standard looking and surprise a few people with it, with it that way. So it'd be interesting to see what he does down the line. Um, he's a fabricator himself, so he'll be making the, the, the exhaust system for that. Um, it's my TIG welding's not really up to up to scratch to be doing that just yet. Um, but yeah, they, I'll, I'll in fact I'll follow on from this bit about me with some of the video of uh, starting working on that one. And yeah, you can see see the car, see what's planned. I've got the donor car sitting at work, which is a 2003 Civic EB3. Um, seems like a fairly solid engine. Um, it will have a we'll see the chain and everything done before we do the swap and put it in. And then yeah, it should be. You know, not going to put a time scale on it because it all depends what work I get come through. 
through the workshop, but um, we'll yeah we'll get get cracking if the weather stays half decent like it is now. With the cars outside at the moment, they give me a good chance to get through a fair bit of stuff on it. So I think it's about enough of me waffling on. Um, yeah, just wanted to like I say do a little video about me because uh, people have asked about it before. Um, and yeah, we'll, I, I was going to give you a little blast in the, the jazz just now, but the camera will probably fly off the dash, so I'll save that for another time. Um, and yeah, we'll, I'll jump into some footage of yeah, the jazz that we started working on. This is the car in question, it's a GD Jazz. I think it's about 2004, I guess. Obviously, definitely a GD shape. You can see it's a French car. The steering wheel on the wrong side. But we're hoping we can bypass that somehow. So, first up is going to be to pull this engine out. Because we don't need that for what we're planning. Give it a good clean up inside. Get all the engine now, the subframe out, and yeah, start doing the necessary. Now the end goal is obviously to look rather like this one. Probably won't be exact with the, the intake like we've got on this one here, but um, we'll have a, a cold intake of some form. Um, it's going to be a pretty much standard K20 bolted in, the six-speed box, and yeah, that's about it really.
getting going with the stripping now. Looks like something's been having a little nest in here at some point. Car's been sitting here a little while, so it's um yeah, someone's made themselves at home, but you know, bit, I'm gonna make them homeless now, but never mind. Just how these things go.
just getting going with the stripping now. Looks like something's been having a little nest in here at some point. The car's been sitting here a little while, so it's um yeah, someone's made themselves at home, but you know, bit, I'm gonna make them homeless now, but never mind. Just how these things go. Forgot to film an outro for the video in my haste. Um but yeah, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Uh if there's any info you want on the swap um, just leave something in the comments uh, if there's anything I should do differently um, let me know because I'm all fairly new to this um, but that's it yeah like and subscribe and see you in the next one thank you